Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. And you're watching on Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. And this is Game 3 between the 1967 Boston Red Sox and the 1978 New York Yankees. The New York Yankees took Game 1, 2-1, to one, behind the pitching of Ron Guidry and Goose Gossage. In the Bronx, and in Game 2 in the Bronx, the Boston Red Sox came back to win 7-5 to five in a very exciting offensive showdown. So the series is all tied up, and we head here to Fenway Park for Game 3. So let's quickly go over the visiting New York Yankees of 1978, their lineup. Once again, we'll be playing with the DH as we're playing with the 1978 rules. It did give me the option, because we were playing in Boston, to have no DH, but I chose to have the DH. Leading off for the Yankees, Willie Randolph is playing second base. Batting second, Thurman Munson, the catcher. Batting third for the Yankees, Greg Nettles, their third baseman. Batting fourth, Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, playing right field. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Sweet Lou Pinella. Batting sixth, the left fielder, Roy White. Batting seventh, the center fielder, Mick the quick Rivers, Mickey Rivers. Batting eighth, playing first base, Chris Shambliss. And batting ninth, playing shortstop, a name that just brings horror to Red Sox fans, Bucky Dent. Red Sox defensive alignment. Hello, Christopher. Good to have you back, bud. Pitching for the Red Sox, Lee Stangey. In 1967, he went in 35 games, 8 wins, 10 losses, 1 save. He threw 181 and 2 thirds innings, only walked 32, struck out 101, and had an ERA of 2.77. So that's why I'm going with him today. His stamina is only a 7. His stamina is only a 7, um, so we're going to have to watch him carefully. His bad roommate, doing the catching, Mike Ryan, defense of 16, arm of 14. Playing third base, Joe Foy, defense of 12. At shortstop, Rico Petroselli, defense of 12. At second base, Mike Andrews. Defense of 12. At first base, the Boomer, George C. Scott. Defense of 14. So that's a solid defensive infield. In left field, the MVP and Triple Crown winner of 1967, Carly Stremski. Defense of 17, arm of 19. Excellent. In center field, Reggie Smith. Defense of 14, arm of 10. Solid, good numbers there. And in right field, I thought about putting Hawk Harrelson in the game in right field, but he's DHing. I decided to keep Tony C in the game. I'm hoping he'll break out of his slump. Tony Caligniero. Defense of 14, arm of 19. Again, good, solid numbers there. Excellent arm. Alrighty, we have Chris Anderson in the chat. He's my third base coach. We will start the game here. Chris did a one heck of a job. This Chris is Tony C is killing us. Yes, he is, but he's going to break out today, Chris. He's going to break out, buddy. 
going to break out. And hopefully he'll catch the ball. <laughs> he won't drop the ball in the ninth inning like he did yesterday. So once again, the series is all tied up one apiece. The Yankees took game one, two to one. The Red Sox took game two, seven to five. As they split in the Bronx, and now they're here at Fenway Stadium. Willie Randolph to lead off. He's three for eight in the series, hitting 375. He had two triples yesterday. In game two, I'm sorry. He is a right handed normal hitter. Connect of 13, power of three. I have 15. Red Sox infield and outfield playing straight away. Lee Stangy against right handed batters. His stuff is a 7, which is slightly below average. Um, his movement is good at 16, it's green. And his control is excellent, 18. So we're hoping that him and Mike Ryan can call a good game here today. All right, Stanky sets and delivers to Randolph. He strikes him out as this is not lined up correctly. <laughs> so he struck him out. <laughs> Let's try a different view here. That's funny. I loaded this ballpark. Let's go with the wide view. Yeah, it's slightly off. Oh, well, we'll have to live with it. I think for the next game, I'll load the current Fenway Park. All right, so one away. Thurman Munson comes to the plate. He's 2 for 8 in the series. One RBI, batting 250. 15 contact. Four power, six eye. Right-handed spray hitter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away. Here's the windup and the pitch by Stanky. Ground ball. That's going to go Foy to Scott. Five to three. All right, so that view is not that good either. Let's go default view. Now they're all off. They're all to the right. That's pretty funny. All right, we'll play with the wide view. Yes, it is. It is Fenway from 1912. <laughs> hey, see the Sam Adams? Come on. All right, Greg Nettles steps to plate with two outs. Left-handed pull hitter. Contact of 14. Power of 14. Eye of 11. He's one for eight in the series. One RBI. Red Sox infield will shift right. Here's the windup and the pitch to Nettles. And that ball is past Foy into left field for a single. So with two outs and Greg Nettles at first, Mr. October steps to the plate. Reggie Jackson, very dangerous batter. He's two for seven in the series, one RBI. He's hitting 286. Contact of 14 against right handed pitching. Power of 16, eye of 13. Stanky will have to pitch very careful to Mr. October. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift right. Here's the windup and the pitch to Reginald Jackson. That ball is sent out to right field. Kalinera comes running in and he makes the catch. So we go to the bottom of the first. No score. Red Sox coming up. Chris Anderson will be taking his place as the third base coach. He had a stellar game in game two. Reggie Smith to lead off for the Red Sox, but let's quickly go through their lineup. Playing center field, batting first, Reggie Smith. Playing second base, batting second, Mike Andrews as we've tweaked the lineup a little bit. Batting third, playing left field, Carl Yastrzemski. We've moved the boomer, George Scott, to the cleanup spot. He's playing first base. 
We've moved Rico, Rico Petroselli up to the 5 spot. He's playing shortstop. We've dropped Tony Caligniero down to the 6th spot. He's playing right field. DHing and batting 7th, Ken Hawk Harrelson. Batting 8th, the 3rd baseman, Joe Foy. Batting 9th, doing the catching, Mike Ryan. On the mound for the Yankees, Jim Beattie. In 1978, 25 games, he went 6 wins, 9 losses, 128 innings, walked 51, struck out 65, ERA a 3.73. His bad roommate, Thurman Munson, who has an arm of 14 and defensive ability of 17, very good catcher, excellent. The Yankees have a solid defensive infield. You'll see all green numbers. Greg Nettle, a 16 defense. Bucky Dent, 14 playing shortstop. Willie Randolph's at second, and he's defense of 14. Chris Shambliss is at first, defense 13. And in the outfield, the Yankees have a very stellar defensive alignment as in the infield. Roy White in left. 14 defense. 19 arm. Mick the Quick. Mickey Rivers in center. 15 defense. 19 arm. Reggie Jackson in right. Mr. October. 14 defense. 19 arm. It's going to be really difficult to run on the Yankees. As Chris Anderson says in the chat, I'm stretching out my windmill arm as we speak. You had a stellar game. You did excellent yesterday in game two. All right, so Reggie Smith will lead off. He's three for nine in the series, 333 hitter. Against right-handed pitching, he's a, he's a switch hitter, so he'll be batting lefty. Normal hitter. Against right-handed pitching, Contact of 11, power of 10, contact, um, eye of 11. Yellow numbers are solid numbers, good numbers there. Jim Beatty against left-handed batters. His stuff is an 8. That's how good he throws his pitches. His movement's 15, and his control is 10. Stamina of 16. So that's about... Again, 16, 110 pitches, possibly. All right, Reggie Smith to lead off. He'll be taking. BD sets and delivers to Smith. Ball one. Munson flashes the sign. Smith awaits the pitch. Here's the windup. Ball two, as he was taking again. We're going to have him take till he gets a strike here. Here's the delivery to Reggie Smith. Ball three comes inside. 3 0 count. Jim Beattie having trouble finding the plate. Munson flashes the signs. The windup and the pitch. Strike one, fastball, right down the heart of the plate. 3-1 count to Reggie Smith. He'll be swinging away. BD delivers. Smith swings. That ball is driven deep to left center, but making a fine running catch is Mickey Rivers. And this is going to drive me nuts the way this ballpark is aligned and the players aren't where they're supposed to be. <laughs> But sometimes when you load these custom stadiums, um, you should really check it out first. So, But I think I'm going to load up the new stadium instead because I know that lines up perfectly. All right, so one away, batting second. Now Mike Andrews, who's playing second, he's two for seven in the series. Two RBIs and he's 286. Contact. Of 13, power of 6, eye of 13. He's a right-handed normal hitter. Yankees infield and outfield straight away. 
he'll be taking. BD sets and delivers. Ball. No, strike one. He gets the outside corner. Andrews just glares back at the umpire. Munson just smiles at him. So no balls, one strike. Andrews will swing away. Here's the delivery and the pitch. And that ball is sent to deep center field. Mickey Rivers going back, 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 back. And he makes a fine catch up against the wall. Hello, Tim Gersh. How you doing, buddy? Hope all is well, Tim. So with two outs, Captain Carly Stremski steps to the plate. Left-handed pull hitter. Five for nine, two RBIs, 556 in this series. Contact of 20, which is the best. Power of 18 and I of 15. Excellent numbers there. Munson and BD will have to pitch carefully to Captain Carl. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Strems will be swinging away. And he walks on the 3 2 count as they pitch very carefully to him. So with two outs, Ustremski's at first. Speed of 9, stealing ability of 13. George C. Scott steps to the plate. Red Sox first baseman. We, baseman, we moved him into the cleanup spot. As we drop Tony Clignera down two spots. Scott is 2 of 8. One homer, two RBIs, batting 250. Contact of 17. Power of 11, eye of 11. He'll be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. BD sets and delivers to Scott. And he walks on a 3-1 pitch. So BD gets the first two outs on fly outs. And the now walks Yastrzemski and Scott. Which brings up Rico Petroselli, who's hitting 500. 4 for 8. 1 RBI. Contact at 12 against, uh, against right-handed pitching. Power of 12, eye of 10. Petroselli will be swinging away. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Petroselli grounds it back to Beatty, who goes over the Shambliss, inning over. Go to the top of the second, no score. Tim Gersh says, new flash tonight, so I'll see you around, buddy. Take care, Tim. Enjoy the show. Leading off the top of the second, Lou Pinella. He's two for seven with two RBIs, batting 286 in this series. Contact of 17, power of five, eye of seven. Right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. The outfield will be straight away and normal. Here's the wind up and the pitch by Stangy. That ball's grounded down to Foy, who throws over to Scott. Two away. One away, I'm sorry. I wish there was two away. No, Chris. Tim is not going to flash us. He's going to go watch Flash. Tim likes that show. So let him go enjoy. Roy White steps to the plate. Left-handed normal hitter. 0 for 6 in the series with 1 RBI. Contact of 13. Power of 9. Eye of 11 against right-handed pitching. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away. Stanky sets and delivers to White. And he strikes him out on the 2-2 count. So there's two away as the Red Sox drove the ball around the infield. Mickey Rivers steps to the plate. He's 0 for 6 in this series. No RBIs. Left-handed pull hitter. Against right-handed pitching. Contact 13. Power 8. I-6. Red Sox infield will shift right. Outfield straight away. Ryan flashes the sign. Stanky sets and delivers to make the quick. Ground ball. Back to Stanky. Over to Scott. One, two, three. Go the Yanks. 
go to the bottom of the second. No score. Leading off and hoping to break out of his miserable slump. At the plate, Tony Caligniero. He's 1 for 8. No RBIs, no homers, batting 125. Against right-handed pitching. Contact of 15. Power of 16. Eye of 9. We're going to let him swing away. Munson flashes a sign. BD sets and delivers to Tony C. And that ball is... Oh! Line drive. Nice catch by Willie Randolph. Robbing Tony Caligniero of a hit. He's getting better contact now. So there's one away and that brings up Ken Hawk Harrelson. Right-handed batter. Spray hitter. He's the DH. 0 for 4 in the series. No RBIs. Against right-handed pitching. Contact of 12. Power of 12. Eye of 10. He's going to swing away against Beatty. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Harrelson. Harrelson sends that ball into left, right center. That's going to drop in for a single. So the Red Sox have their first hit of the game. Harrelson has speed of 7, stealing of 13. Joe Foy comes to the plate. 0 for 6. With one RBI against right-handed pitching, contact 12, power of 12, eye of 12. 12s are wild. Munson looks out at Beatty, flashes the sign. Beatty nods his head. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Foy. Foy sends that ball deep to right. Jackson goes back, but it gets by him. And that's going to be a triple for Joe Foy. Tony Caligni. Oh, my God. It's going to be an inside-the-park home run. Holy cow. We've just witnessed a miracle of God. An inside-the-park home run at Fenway Park. Unbelievable. 2 nothing, Boston. As that ball rattled around in right field, Jackson couldn't corral it. And... Joe Foy just kept on running. 2 nothing, Boston. Mike Ryan steps to the plate with one out. 0 for 3 in the series. No RBIs. Gets right-handed pitching. Contact of 7. Power of 4. I have 11. That's right, Christopher. Holy cow. Chris Anderson did a stellar job at third base, waving both runners around. All right, we're going to have... You know what? We're going to let Mike Ryan swing away. BD sets and delivers to Ryan. And Ryan sends that ball out in the left field. White goes back and makes the catch for out number two. Reggie Smith steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today, 3 for 10 in the series. Right-handed pitching, contact of 11, power of 10, eye of 11. He'll be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Reggie Smith. Smith strikes out on the 1-2 count, inning over. But the Red Sox get two on the inside the park home run by Joe Foy. We go to the top of the third. 1967 Red Sox 2, the 1978 New York Yankees nothing. Chris Shambliss to lead off the inning. Left-handed normal hitter. 0 for 6 with no RBIs in the series. Against right-handed pitching. Contact of 13. Power of 8. Eye of 8. Red Sox infield now field straight away. And normal. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Shambliss. That ball is a base hit in the right center. So Shambliss leads off the top of the third with a single. Shambliss has speed of three and stealing ability of 13. Bucky Dent comes to the plate. The ninth place hitter, right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. Dent is two for seven with one RBI, and that one RBI was a game-winning RBI in game number one. Bucky beat Bleeping Dent screwed me over again. So 
Stangy throws over to first. Shambliss is back. Here's the windup and the pitch to Dent. And that ball sent out to left field. Yastrzemski on his horse. He makes a fine running catch. Out number one. Willie Randolph steps to the plate. He's three for nine in the series. 0 for one today. Gets right-handed pitching. Contact of 13, power of 3, eye of 15. He's a right-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield will shift into double play depth as they look to get two for one. Stangy sets and delivers to Willie. Ball's grounded back to Stangy. Goes to second, over to first, but not in time. Fielder's choice. They get the lead runner. Randolph is safe at first. Thurman Munson steps to the plate. Two for nine in a series, one RBI. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 15, power of four, eye of six. Randolph is a threat to steal. Speed of 15, stealing of 16. We're going to pitch out. We got Randolph dead to rights. Ryan throws down, and he is out. Inning over. The bench is over there, Mr. Willie Randolph. Go get your glove and go back out in the field. As Ryan guns down Willie Randolph on the pitch out. We go to the bottom of the third. 1967 Boston Red Sox 2. The new, excuse me, the 1978 New York Yankees, nothing. Mike Andrews to lead off the inning. 0 for 1 today against right-handed pitching. Contact of 13, power of 6, eye of 13. Andrews will be swinging away. Munson flashes the sign. Beatty sets and delivers. And he strikes out Andrews on the 0-2 count swinging. So with one out, Carl Yastrzemski comes to the plate. He walked his first time up and scored on the Joe Foy inside the park home run. No, that is incorrect. He did walk his first time up, but he did not score on the Joe Foy inside the park home run. My faux pas. Yastrzemski against right-handed pitching. Contact of 20, power of 18, eye of 15. He'll be swinging away. BD sets and delivers to Yastrzemski. And that ball sent deep to center. Mickey Rivers going back, 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 right up against the wall, and he makes the catch. Out number two. So with two outs, George Scott steps to the plate. He's batting cleanup. Two for eight in the series, one homer and two RBIs, batting 250. He's 0 for 0 today. Contact of 17, power of 11. I have 11 against right-handed pitching. Mr. Scott will be swinging away. Here's the windup and the pitch to George C. And that ball sent to right field. Reggie Jackson coming out, but it's going to drop in front of him. Single. So, Scott's at first. Rico Petroselli comes to the plate. 0 for 1 today. 4 for 9 in the series. 1 RBI. Against right-handed pitching. Contact at 12. Power of 12. Eye of 10. He's a spray hitter. Yankees outfield and infield to me looks straight away and normal. Rico will be swinging away. BD sets and delivers to Petroselli. Petroselli swings. That ball is going to be a base hit in the right. And now it's up to Christopher Anderson here, our third base coach. Do you want to signal George C. Scott to round second base and try for third base? The ball is shallow. Scott is an average runner, and Reggie Jackson has a cannon for an arm. What do you say, third base coach Christopher Anderson? I know what I would do. So we shall wait, Chris, for what you will type into the chat. Christopher says stay. I agree. 
So first and second, two out. Tony Caligniera comes to the plate. He's had a dreadful first two full games. He lined out to Randolph his first at bat. He hit the ball very hard. Randolph made a nice uh, lunging catch to rob Tony Caligniera of a hit. So here's his chance to break out of this slump. Caligniero against right-handed pitching. Contact of 15, power of 16, eye of 9. He will be swinging away. BD sets and delivers to Tony C. And that ball is grounded down to Nettles, who goes to Randolph. Out number 3, fielder's choice. We'll go to the top of the 4th. The 1967 Boston Red Sox 2, the 1978 New York Yankees nothing. Thurman Munson to lead off the inning. 0 for 1 today. Against right handed pitching, contact 15, power 4, I 6. Ryan flashes the sign. Stangy sets and delivers to Munson. Ground ball to Petroselli, he gobbles it up, throws over to Scott, one away. No, it's not Rico who's killing us. It's Tony C who's killing us. You got the wrong pies on, Christopher. Greg Nettles comes to the plate. Left-handed pull hitter, the Red Sox infield will shift right. Nettles one for one today. 2 for 9 in the series with an RBI. Against right-handed pitching. Contact 14. Power 14. I have 11. Remember, the rating system that I have set up goes 0 to 20. So 20 being the best number, 0 being the worst number. Blue numbers are excellent. Green numbers are very good. Yellow is good to solid. Orange is below average. And red is poor. So, Stanky sets and delivers to Nettles. And that is, oh, Rico Petroselli. No, Joe Foy, I'm sorry. Joe Foy makes a diving catch. Unbelievable. As we have the shift on. So the shift works to perfection. Christopher Anderson says, you're a 20 in my book, Al. Well, thank you, Christopher. I give you a 20.5, my friend. I can do that my game. All right, Reggie Jackson comes to the plate with two outs. He's two for eight in the series with an RBI 0 for 1 today. Le Left-handed pull hitter, Red Sox infield once again will shift right against right-handed pitching. Contact of 14 for Mr. October. Power of 16, eye of 13. Ryan flashes the sign. Stangy sets and delivers. Jackson grounds it to Scott. He takes it to the bag himself. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Red Sox two, Yankees nothing. Hawk Harrelson, the DH, will lead off the inning. He's one for five. He scored on the Joe Foy inside the park home run. He had singled ahead of Foy. Right-handed spray hitter, one for one today. Against right-handed pitching, contact 12, power of 12, eye of 10. Munson goes through the sign. Jim Beatty nods his head. Here's the windup and the pitch to Harrelson. And Harrelson sends it down to Shambliss, who throws it over to Beatty, out number one. So that went 3-1. to one. Joe Foy, the man of the hour so far, inside the park home run and a fine diving catch to Rob Excuse me, a hit from the Yankees. Foy is one for seven in the series with one home run and three RBIs. He's one for one today with two RBIs inside the park homer as that ball rattled around in right field. Mr. October, Reginald Jackson could not corral it. And Foy kept on running and Christopher Anderson waved him home. Foy's a 12, 12, and 12 against right-handed pitching. 12's across the board for him. He will be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Mr. Foy. 
And that ball sent to right field again. Here comes Reggie Jackson, and he makes a fine running catch for out number two towards the line. Mike Ryan comes to the plate. 0 for 4 in the series, 0 for 1 today. It's right-handed pitching. Contact of 7, power of 4. Eye of 11. He'll be taking. BD sets and delivers. Ball 1. He'll be taking again. Here's the pitch to Ryan. Strike 1. The off-speed pitch hits the corner. One ball, one strike. Ryan to, one, uh, excuse me, Ryan to swing away. Here's the pitch. Ryan walks on the 3-2 count. Good eye for the catcher. We'll take any way they can get on base. Our two catchers, Mike Ryan and Elston Howard, are very bad hitters. So with two outs, Mike Ryan's at first. And he's very slow. As you can see, his number is four, which is an orangish red, which is bad. <laughs> his stealing ability is 11, which isn't so bad, but... Thurman Munson's arms are 14. He's going nowhere. Reggie Smith, switch hitter, batting lefty against the right-handed BD. Smith is 0 for 2 today, 3 for 11 in the series. No RBIs. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 11, power of 10, eye of 11. Smith will be swinging away. BD sets and delivers to Smith. Smith sends that ball out to left field. Roy White going back on it, and he makes the catch right up against the wall. So we'll go to the top of the fifth. 1967 Boston Red Sox 2, the 1978 New York Yankees nothing. If you're watching this and you see, I loaded this stadium. It was a download mod. I didn't adjust it because Yankee Stadium that I downloaded fit perfectly. And in this, I'm going to have to adjust it. I'll have to do it after the game, or I'm going to load the Fenway Park, new, the new Fenway Park, the modern Fenway Park, uh, and let them play there. Everything is shifted to the right and should pushed in a little bit. It should be pushed back. So I apologize for the weird visual of the game. Lou Pinella to lead off. He's 0 for 1 today, 2 for 8 in the series, 2 RBIs. Right-handed pull hitter, the Red Sox infield will shift left. Stanky's now up to 48 pitches. He has a stamina of 7, but he has a good ERA. That's why we started him. 7, that's probably only going to get us 80 pitches. So we're going to have to go to our bullpen, but he's been very economical. Only 48 pitches through 4 innings. Pinella against right-handed pitching. Contact of 17. Power of 5. Eye of 7. Ryan flashes the sign. Stangy sets and delivers to Sweet Lou. And he strikes him out on the 0-2 count looking. Red Sox throw the ball around in the infield. That's Stangy's third strikeout. No base on balls. We like that. Roy White comes to the plate. He's 0 for 7 in the series, 0 for 1 today. He does have 1 RBI. Against right-handed pitching, contact at 13, power 9 for power, uh, 11 for I, I have 11. White is a normal left-handed batter. Red Sox infield and outfield straight away. Stanky sets and delivers to Roy White. That ball sent down to Boomer Scott, who flips it over, and there's an error, so... Who is the error on? The error is on Stangy, who dropped the ball. So there should be two away, but he dropped the ball. Roy White, a very good base runner, is at first. Speed of 9, stealing of 14. We're going to have to watch him. Mickey Rivers comes to the plate. He is a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Rivers is 0 for 7 in the series, 0 for 1 today. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 13, power of 8, eye of 6. We're going to pitch out. White wasn't going anywhere. Hmm. We're going to pitch out again. White's still there. Okay. Stangy will set and deliver to Mickey Rivers. And that ball is sent into right center field for a base hit. 
So Chris Shambla steps to the plate. Tying run at first. Shambliss represents a goal ahead run at the plate. He's one for seven, no RBIs, one for one today. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 13, power of 8, eye of 8. Red Sox will shift into double play depth. Shambliss is a normal left-handed hitter. It's a big play here for the Red Sox. Ryan flashes a sign. Stangy nods his head. Here's the windup and the pitch to Mr. Shambliss. The runners are going. Ryan throws down, and it's a double steal. Sons of guns. They execute the double steal to perfection. That's the second time they've done that to the Red Sox in this series. Tying run is now at second base in Mickey Rivers. One ball, one strike, one out. Red Sox will go back to normal. They'll get out of double play depth. Stanky sets and delivers to Shambliss. That ball is sent to right field. Tony Klingner on the run. He makes the catch. He fires home. And they get him. Double play. Tony C. Guns down. Roy White. What a catch and throw by Tony C. Huge play. Unbelievable. What do you think of that, Mr. Anderson? Wow. Red Sox fans are excited about that. High fives in the dugout for Tony Clignero. Hopefully that great defensive effort there will get him out of his um, batting slump. Mike Andrews to lead off the inning. Here in the bottom of the fifth, the Red Sox leading the Yankees 2-0. Andrews 0-2, for 2-9 two. Two in the series with two RBIs. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 13. Power of 6, eye of 13. Jim Beatty's now up to 70 pitches, but his stamina is 16. Andrews will be swinging away. Right-handed, normal hitter. Munson flashes a sign. Here's the delivery in the pitch to Andrews. Andrews swings. That's going to be an infield hit, I think. Yes! He beats Nettles' throw as Nettles went to the line. Couldn't make the... I'm sorry, went to the hole. Deep in the hole and couldn't make the throw. Andrews is at first. No outs. Carly Strempsey comes to the plate. 5 for 10 in this series. 2 RBIs. 0 for 1 today. <clears throat> Against right-handed pitching, Captain Carl. Contact at 20. Power of 18. Eye of 15. Captain Carl will be swinging away. Left-handed pull hitter. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski sends it down to first. And that's going to be a 3-6-3 three to to three double play. Nice play by Shambliss to start that double play and finish it. So there's two outs now. George C. Scott steps to the plate. One for one today. Three for nine in the series. One homer, two RBIs. Gets right-handed pitching. Scott has contact of 17. Power of 11. Eye of 11. We're going to let Scott swing away. BD sets and delivers to George C. Scott. Scott sends that ball back up the middle. Two out single. So that double play surely helped out the Yankees. Two outs. Rico Petroselli comes to plate one for two today. Five for ten in the series with one RBI. Against right-handed pitching. Contact at 12. Power of 12. Eye of 10. Munson has a word with Beatty. Now comes back behind the plate. We're going to have Petroselli swing away. Beatty sets and delivers to Rico. Rico sends that ball on the left for a base hit. So with two outs, Scott's at second, Petroselli's at first, and Tony Caligniero, the man of the hour right now, who kept the Yankees off the board. He made a fine running catch in the top of this inning. 
going towards the line, then quickly pivoted and fired home to gun out Roy White for a double play that ended the inning and Yankee threat. So with two outs, Tony C, who's 1 for 10, 0 for 2 today. Let's see if Tony C can get a big hit here. Against right-handed pitching. Contact of 15, power of 16, eye of 9. Tony C will be swinging away. BD sets and delivers to Caligniero. And that ball is blooped out in the right. And it's caught by Reginald Jackson for out number three. The score remains 2 to nothing in favor of the Red Sox. We go to the top of the sixth. Stangy's now thrown 62 pitches. Uh, standing on the seven. Hmm. Let's quickly check out who we have available in the bullpen. And I think I've solved this problem here. I think if I do this, we're going to be able to see. Oh, goody. Let's see if that works. Let me check out the screen. I think we can... You can see the substitutions now, hopefully. Yay, it worked. It's a bit cumbersome, but it's a workaround. All right, who do we have for pitchers here? Sparky Lyle is 86% rested. He threw 34 pitches two days ago, so he's definitely an option. We're ahead in the game. Our closer, John Wyatt, who's pitcher properly loaded this time. He's 100% rested. He only threw eight pitches to get the save in game two. Moorhead, I don't like his ERA. 4.34. So, I get, you know, if we're going to go with anyone, we're going to get Sparky Lyle up in the pen. Oh, we got um, Dan Osinski. He's 100% rested. So we're going to get Osinski and Lyle. Oops. Back to the game. Sparky Lyle back up in the pen. Okay. Back to the game. As we have Lyle and Ozinski warming up. Now I have to go back to OBS and do this drag down. So that's a little work around with OBS. So you can see it, it used to do it automatic. I don't know if I switched something. There we go. Alrighty, so top of the six leading off for the Yankees, their ninth place hitter, Bucky Dent. Two for eight in the series. Again, he had one RBI. It was a game-winning RBI in game one. 0 for 1 today. He's a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift left. Stanky's only given up three hits. He's walked none, struck out three. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Dent. Grounded to Petroselli. Over to Scott. One away. Christopher Anderson says that double play hurt. It sure did. Really, Willie Randolph comes to the plate. Right-handed normal hitter. 0 for 2 today. 3 for 10 in the series. Against right-handed pitcher. Contact of 13. Power of 3. Eye of 15. Stangy will set and deliver to Mr. Randolph. That ball is grounded. Andrews makes a nice play, but... Randolph beats the throw infield hit. God, I hate infield hits. Stanky's up to 69 pitches now. Thurman Munson comes to the plate. 0 for 2 today. 2 for 10 in the series with 1 RBI. Randolph is a threat to steal. We did throw him out in the first inning. We had a pitch out. Mike Ryan gunned him out at second. So Munson's right-handed spray hitter. Red Sox will move in a double play depth. We're going to pitch from the four button here, which is hold the runners. Try to keep Randolph close. Ryan flashes a sign. Stangy delivers the Munson. Randolph goes, and he steals second on the 1-1 count. 
So they have a runner in scoring position with one out. We'll get out a double play depth. We'll go back to normal. Hmm. I'm not going to pitch out. Nope. Alrighty. Stanky gets a sign from Ryan. The wind up and the pitch to Munson. Ground ball back to Stangy. Goes over to Scott for out number two. So it's up to Greg Nettles to try to knock Randolph in from third. Nettles one for two today, two for ten in the series, one RBI. Left-handed pull hitter, the Red Sox infield will shift right. And we're going to tr quickly check our bullpen. Ozinski and Lyle are still warming up, so that's okay. Against right-handed pitching, Nettles, contact of 14, power of 14, eye of 11. So he could tie this game with one swing of the bat. Stangy has thrown 74 pitches. He's only given up four hits. He's walked none, struck out three. Ryan flashes a sign. Stangy shakes his head. Ryan goes through the signs again. Now Stangy nods his head. Here's the windup and the pitch to Nettles. And that ball is sent to Andrews. It goes over to Scott. Great job by Lee Stangy. Once again, the Yankees do not score. The Red Sox lead the Yankees. Go to the bottom of the six. Red Sox two. Yankees nothing. Hawk Harrison, the DH, will lead off for the Red Sox. One for six in the series. One for two today. No RBIs. Against right-handed pitching. Contact at 12. Power of 12. Eye of 10. Jim Beatty's now up to 89 pitches. Again, he has stamina of 16, and I think that's about 100 and probably 10 pitches. Harrelson is a right-handed spray hitter. He'll be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to, to Mr. Hawk. Harrelson sends it down to Shambliss, who takes it to the bag himself for out number one. Joe Foy, one for two today, but he had the big hit, the inside the park home run that scored the two runs. Harrelson ahead of him. As the ball smashed down in the right field corner, rattled around, Reggie Jackson couldn't corral it. Christopher Anderson just kept waving him in. Foy against right-handed pitching, contact at 12, power of 12, eye of 12. We're going to let Foy take. Here's the pitch. Ball one. We're going to let Foy swing away now. BD sets and delivers. Foy sends that ball to Shambliss, who steps on the bag. That's out number two. Mike Ryan comes to the plate. It's 0 for 1 with a walk. 0 for 4 in the series. It's right-handed pitching contact to 7. Power 4. Eye of 11. We're going to let Ryan swing away. Munson flashes a sign. Beatty sends the ball homeward bound. Ryan strikes out on the 1-2 count swinging. Go to the top of the 7th. Red Sox lead the Yankees 2 to nothing. Lee Stangy's up to 79 pitches. And oh my god, I left those guys in the bullpen too long. So we'll have to sit those guys down for a bit as they got a little tired. Reggie Jackson comes to plate. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift left. Jackson 0 for 2 today. 2 for 9 in this series. 1 RBI. <clears throat> Against right-handed pitching. Contact 14. Power 16. I 13. Stangy sets and delivers to Jackson. Ground ball to Scott. Takes it to the bag himself. Out number one. A roar comes from the Red Sox faithful. You're at Fenway Park. Lou Pinella steps to the plate. Right-handed pull hitter. 0 for 2 today. 2 for 9 in the series. 2 RBIs. Against right-handed pitching. Contact to 17. 
power of five. Eye of seven. You can fool do. Stank, he's been outstanding. Red Sox infield will shift left. Outfield straight away and normal. Ryan flashes a sign. Here's the windup and the pitch to Sweet Lou. And that ball is ripped into left field for a hit. <clears throat> Roy White comes to the plate. And let's go back to our bullpen. Sparky Lyle. He's ready, and that's going to be it for Lee Stangy, I believe. Let's just go ask Lee how he feels. Visit the mound. I'm still going strong, Lee says. <clears throat> yeah, Roy White's a switch hitter. He'll bat righty if we bring um, Sparky Lyle in. Then we got Rivers as a lefty and Shambliss as a lefty. Roy is 0 for 2 today, 0 for 8 in this series. What are his numbers? Let's quickly look to see what Mr. White's numbers are against lefties. And they're the same, except for the eye. He actually has a better eye against lefties. Okay, return to the game, so. <clears throat> All right. We're going to go into double play depth. We're going to keep Stangy in for one more batter. We're not going to let Sparky Lyle tire out as he's tiring again. Sit him down. All right. Stangy will pitch to White. Here is the windup and the pitch. That ball sent to Scott. He goes the first. Out number two. Canella advances the second. Mickey Rivers comes to the plate now. Left-handed pull hitter. <clears throat> and now we're going to bring Sparky Lyle in the game. Make sure he's okay. He still says he's tiring. God, fudge. So we can't bring Sparky Lyle into the game at the moment. That's my faux pas, as I left him in the bullpen too long. And he has to rest for a bit. All right, so the Red Sox infield is going to shift left. Shift right, excuse me. John Farrell moment there, sorry. Rivers, one for two today, one for eight in the series, against right-handed pitching. Contact of 13, power of 8, I of 6. You know what? I'm rolling the dice. I'm going to bring in Sparky Lyle anyway. Lyle, and let's get Ozinski back up. He's ready. Okay. Let's get our closer up, John Wyatt. Lyle's in the game. He's going to face Mickey Rivers. Red Sox infield shift right. Ryan flashes the sign. Lyle sets and delivers. That ball is grounded to Scott. He flips it over to Sparky Lyle. Out number three. As the Fenway organist plays, take me out to the ball game. John Wyatt's warming up in the pen. One, two, three strikes here out at the old ball game. Bravo. Reggie Smith to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Center fielders 0 for 3 today, 3 for 12 in the series, no RBIs. Against right-handed pitching contact. Of 11, power of 10, eye of 11. Jim Beatty still on the mound. He's up to 102 pitches. Here's the wind up and the pitch to Smith, who will be swinging away. Smith sends that down to Nettles, who goes over the Chambliss, one away. 
John Y is ready. We're going to sit him down because we don't want to tire him out. Mike Andrews steps to the plate. One for three today. Three for ten in the series with two RBIs. Against right-handed pitching. Contact of 13. Power of six. Eye of 13. Munson flashes a sign. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Andrews. And that ball is smashed to short. Dent makes a fine play and a nice scoop by Shambliss for out number two. Carly Strzemski comes to play 0 for 2 today, 5 for 11 in the series, 2 RBIs. <laughs> Left-handed pull hitter. And the Yankees are very wary of Car Captain Carl. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 20. Power of 18, eye of 15. Excellent numbers there for Yastrzemski. Beatty sets and delivers to Yaz. Yaz nubs it out. Thurman Munson picks it up and throws him out at first. Inning over. We go to the top of the eighth. Sparky Lyles on the mound against the left-handed batter, Chris Chambliss. And we're going to get John Wyatt back up in the pen. So John Wyatt's warming up. Shambliss, one for eight in the series, one for two today. Against left-handed pitching, his numbers drop. He goes from a contact from 13 to 11, power from 8 to 6, and I, 7 to 6. Normal left-handed bat of the Red Sox, infield and outfield straight away. Lyle sets and delivers to Ryan. That ball is sent out to right center. Tony Kalignar on the run, and he makes the catch for out number one. Bucky Dent steps to the plate. Let's look at our bullpen quickly. Wyatt's ready. We'll sit him down as we play with the warm-up rule, and I don't want to tire him out. So he's good for a batter before we have to get him back up. Dent 0 for 2 today. 2 for 9 in the series. 1 RBI. That RBI was a game-winning RBI in Game 1. He's a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift left. It's left-handed pitching, contact at 10, power of 5, and his eye actually increases from 7 to 8. So the other two numbers stayed the same, but his eye increases. You've shifted left. Lyle sets and delivers to Dent. And he strikes him out on the full count. Red Sox throw the ball around back to Lyle. So there's two outs here in the top of the 8th. Willie Randolph steps to the plate, and we're going to get John Wyatt back up in the pen. Let's look at Randolph's numbers quickly. Against right-handed pitching, his connect drops from 14 to 13, and other than that, everything else... Avoids the K, drops to 16 from 17, so not a big difference there. We're going to let Sparky Lyle continue to pitch. Back to the game. Randolph, 1 for 3 today. 4 for 11 in the series, no RBIs. Against left-handed pitching, contact of 14, power of 3, eye of 15. Ryan flashes a sign. Lyle sets and delivers, and he walked him on the 3-1 count. I will be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. I had to take care of an issue. Alright, so Willie Randolph's at first. Thurman Munson's at the plate. 0 for 3 today. 2 for 11 in the series. It's lefties. He's 16. Overall is a 15. So... Wyatt is ready and he's coming in for the four out save. So Sparky Lyle did his job. So John Wyatt, yay, and his pitcher loaded. Comes to the plate. In 1967 for the Boston Red Sox, he was in 60 games. He had 10 wins, 7 losses. 20 saves, so they didn't track saves, I believe. I'm pretty sure they didn't track saves in 67, but if they did, he would have had 20. He threw 93 in a third innings, walked 39, struck out 68. His ERA was 2-6-0. He had the save in game two. Stamina up two. That's about 30 pitches. Um, his stuff is eight against right-handed batters. Movement 16, control 10. Randolph is at first. The and Munson represents the tying run at the plate. There are two outs here. Munson against right-handed pitching contact of 15. Power of 4, eye of 6. Munson's a spray hitter. The Red Sox infield and outfield normal and straight away. Wyatt sets and delivers to Thurman Munson. And that ball is ripped into left. It's going to be a double. Randolph is going to come all the way around to score. It's now a 2-1 to one ball game. The tying run at second as once again the Red Sox bullpen. No matter what era I play, the Red Sox bullpen gives me Maalox moments. Greg Nettles comes to the plate. Very dangerous hitter, especially against right-handed pitching. 1 for 3 today. 2 for 11 in the series with 1 RBI. Against right-handed pitching, contact of 14, power of 14, eye of 11. Who's on deck? Jackson, he's a lefty too. Nettles is a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Ryan goes through the signs. Wyatt nods his head. He sets and delivers to Nettles. Nettles swings. And that's going to be a base hit in the right field. Munson. Here comes Munson. Here comes the throw by Caligniero. And he's out. Tony Caligniero guns out his second runner at the plate to maintain the Red Sox lead at 2-1. to one. Tony C. having a tremendous day out in the field. Unbelievable. Second man he's gunned out at the plate. It was a good decision. Uh, by us to let him I almost pulled him out of the lineup I did drop him in the batting order but I did not pull him out of the lineup so wow that's worked out well go to the bottom of the eighth Yankees get one and the, but the tying run and Thurman Munson is gunned out at the plate by Tony Caligniero Christopher Anderson says holy cow again oh, Red Sox need some insurance runs here George Scott steps to the plate, first baseman. Two for two today. He's four for ten in the series. Two RBIs, one homer. Beatty's still on the mound. He's thrown 112 pitches. Against right-handed pitching, Scott contact to 17. Power 11, I 11. Scott's going to be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch by Beatty. He struck him out. No, what happened there? Catcher's interference. All right, we'll take that. So it was catcher's interference, and that's a holy cow. So Scott reaches first on catcher's interference, and that is an error, I believe. Yes, yeah, so they flashed an error on the Yankees now. Chris, who gets the error on catcher's interference? The catcher gets the error, correct? I mean, that makes sense. Christopher also umpires baseball games, so he should know this. Rico Petroselli comes to the plate. Scott, speed of 9, stealing ability of 12. Uh, let's see what his base running ability is. 
base running of 10. So it's a solid base runner there. And Scott at first. Petroselli comes to the plate. He's 2 for 3 today. 6 for 11 in the series. 1 RBI. That's hitting at a 545 clip. That's right-handed pitching. Rico's contact is 12. Power of 12. Eye of 10. Sacrifice bunt of 7. Bunt for a hit is a 10. Tony Clignero's on deck. He's up to 115 pitches. We're going to play a little hit and run here. We're going to put the runner in motion, try to stay out of any type of double play. And if Rico finds a hole, go first to third. BD sets and delivers to Petroselli. Hit and run on. And that ball is sent deep to the right center field gap. But Mickey Rivers is there and makes a fine catch. One away. Christopher says the catcher gets the error. That's what I thought. Thank you very much, Mr. Christopher. So with one away... George C. Scott steps to the plate. I'm sorry, he's at first. Tony Clignera is at the plate. Tony C. has gunned down two runners at the plate, and that has maintained the Red Sox lead at 2-1. to one. Unbelievable. Now we just need Tony C. to put one over the left field wall, and all will be well with the world. BD sets and delivers to Tony C. He'll be swinging away. Clignero sends it down to Nettles. And that's going to be... No, it's only one. So Nettles goes to Randolph. They get the force out. Caligniero running hard. Beats out the double play. So with two outs, Tony sees at first. Hawk Harrelson comes to the plate. And... I'm just checking my bullpen real quick. Do I have any left... Oh, I'm not bringing in Dennis Bennett. That's for sure. He's my only other lefty. Zinski, is he a ground ball pitcher just in case? Neutral. We're going to get Dan Ozinski up in the pen just in case why it stumbles. So Harrelson's at the plate. One for three today. He scored ahead of Joel Foy and is inside the park home run. And Christopher Anderson has put in a rule for the catchers in your fans that I will be reading once this batter is done. All right. So Harrison's at the plate, one for three. Against right-handed pitching, contact at 12, power at 12, eye of 10. Beatty's up to 117 pitches. Kilgnir at first, speed 9, stealing of 11. Here's the wind-up in the pitch to Hawk Harrison. He's swinging away. Harrelson sends that ball in the right field. Caligniero is going to go to third, and he's safe. First to third he goes. Joe Foy steps to the plate. Alrighty, so Joe Foy is at the plate. Foy, one for three, inside the park home run. 
that's the two runs. That's why the Red Sox are leading the Yankees 2-1. to one. And also because Tony Calignero has thrown out two runners at the plate. Foy against right-handers. Contact at 12. Power of 12. Eye of 12. Foy will be swinging away. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Mr. Joe Foy. Oh, and he hit him! Bases are loaded. Wow. And that brings up Mike Ryan, and he is not going to hit. As Ryan is 0 for 5 in the series. 0 for 2 today. He did walk once. Let's go to our substitutions. Ozinski is still warming up, and we're going to go with... Dalton Jones, Tony Horton. If they bring in another pitcher, let's just see his splits here for ratings. 16 for against righties or lefties for contact. So we're going to bring in, to pinch hit for Mike Ryan, we're going to bring in Tony Horton who was the DH, and he had one hit in game two. Dan Ozinski, right-handed relief pitcher, still warming up in the bullpen. All right, so Tony Horton comes to the plate. He's one for four in the series. Big moment here for the Red Sox and the Yankees. The Red Sox leading the Yankees two to one. The Sox have the bases juiced. Two outs. Pinch hitter Tony Horton steps to the plate. Right-handed normal hitter. Against right-handed pitching, contact to 16, power 10, eye of 5. Beatty is still on the mound. He's thrown 127 pitches. I'm in shock. The Yankees have not gone to their bullpen to keep this game at 2-1. to one. And we're going to have... Horton's going to take. Beatty sets and delivers. Strike 1. Jumps out in front of him with an off-speed pitch there. So 0-1 count to Horton. Steps out of the batter's box, rubs some dirt on his hands, gets back in the batter's box. Horton will be swinging away. Munson flashes a sign. Here's the pitch to Tony Horton. Horton sends that ball into the gap, and it gets down! Two runs score. The Red Sox lead four to one. Tony Horton off the bench, pinch hitting, comes through in the clutch. Christopher Anderson says Mike Ryan is O for life. <laughs> He's O for the game, that's for sure. So the Red Sox get two badly needed insurance runs and go up four to one but the threat is not over foy is at second tony horton is at first foy is an excellent base runner horton's an okay base runner but very bad speed reggie smith comes to the plate and they still have jim Beatty out there and he's thrown 130 pitches but now they're probably just going to try to hope that Beatty takes it home they don't have to use anyone in the pen smith 0 for 4 today 3 for 13 in the series and before I do the faux pas again, uh, over warming up my pitcher. No, he's still good. So we'll let him continue to warm up just in case. Reggie Smith against right-handed pitching. Contact of 11. Power of 10. I have 11. Smith will be swinging away. Be nice to see Reggie deposit one over the fence and really blow this game out. Munson flashes a sign. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Reginald Smith. Smith sends that ball into left center. Uh-oh. Big moment for Christopher Anderson. Get ready. Do you want to signal Joe Foy to round third base and try to score? The ball is very shallow. Foy is an average runner. Roy White has a cannon for an arm. Up next is Mike Andrews, Chris. What do you say, Chris? Two outs. Andrew's coming up. We're waiting for our third base coach. Send him. Anderson's waving him in. Here comes the throw. Here comes Foy. Oh, and he's gunned out at the plate. 
I would have sent them to, though, to be honest with you. We have an incomplete lineup. So. We're going to bring Elston Howard in to catch. He'll replace Tony Horton, who had the clutch pinch hit. Two out single to drive in two runs. Howard will go in to catch. Alrighty, the Red Sox three outs away from taking a two to one lead in this series in front of the Fenway faithful. Dan Ozinski is ready, but we're going to stick with our closer, John Wyatt. Randy Jackson comes to the plate. Left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift right. Jackson 0 for 3 today, 2 for 10 in the series. 1 RBI against right-handed pitching. Contact of 14. Power of 16. Eye of 13. Wyatt sets and delivers to Mr. October. That ball is sent deep to the right center field gap. On the run is Reggie Smith. He makes a catch right up against the wall. One away. Fine play by Reggie Smith out in the center. Lou Pinella steps to the plate. Right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox infield will shift from right to left now. Pinello's 1 for 3 today, 3 for 10 in the series, 2 RBIs. Against right-handed pitching, contact is 17, which is outstanding, but his power is 5 and his eye is 7. That's well below average. John Wyatt with a 3-run lead. Howard flashes the sign. Wyatt's going right at Pinella. Here's the pitch. And that ball is sent to Andrews, who throws over to Scott. 2 away, so that goes 4 to 3. Red Sox one out away from taking a 2-1 series lead against the 78 Yankees. The crowd is on their feet. Roy White steps to the plate. Last chance for the Yankees to extend this game. He's 0 for 3 today, 0 for 9 in the series. He has one RBI. He's a switch hitter. He's batting lefty against John Wyatt. Contact at 13. Power of 9, eye of 11. Red Sox infield, outfield straight away. Elston Howard flashes a sign. John Wyatt nods his head. He smiles a little bit. And here comes the pitch, homeward bound. He missed the bunt. He was trying to bunt for a hit. Count goes to 0-2. Red Sox one strike away from taking a 2-1 series lead, folks. Wyatt, wine, sets, delivers. Ball down to Foy, who throws over to Scott. Game over. How appropriate that Joe Foy throws out Roy White for the last out as it was his inside the park home run that gave the Red Sox the lead back in the second. The Boston Red Sox of 1967 now lead the series 2-1 to one over the, the New York Yankees of 1978. Let's quickly go to the box score, and I will bring this up for you. As I figured out how to do it, I didn't do all the other ones because it's cumbersome, but this I will do. OBS used to switch to the other screens. I don't know in the last update if something happened or if I foobarred something. So let's just... And there we are. The box score should come up in a moment. As Christopher Anderson says, win, win, win. Yes, we did, Chris. Yes, we did. And the box score has come up on the screen, so that's excellent. So let's see who the player of the game is. Lee Stangy. And he deserved it. He is the winning pitcher. We went with Stangy, even though he had a losing record. I believe it was a losing record. I'll have to double check that. Yeah, he was eight. And, he was eight and ten in '67, but phenomenal control. 
He only walked 32 and struck out 101 with a 2.77 ERA. And his his stamina was only a 7, but he did a good job. So Lee Stangy, player of the game. Could have went to Joel Foy too, but uh, it's all right it went to Lee Stangy. They could have had co-players of the game. All right, let's give you Stangy's numbers. Stangy gets the win in game three. He went six and two-third innings, only gave up five hits, no runs, no walks, struck out three. He threw 86 pitches, 57 of them for strikes. Sparky Lyle came in to get a hold. He pitched one inning. He gave up one run on no hits. Uh... And walked one, struck out one. He threw 18 pitches, 9 for strikes. John Wyatt comes in, and as he did in Game 2, he saves Game 3 for his second save of the series. Lyle had his second hold of the series. Uh, Wyatt pitched one and a third. Gave up two hits, no runs, no walks, didn't strike out anyone. Threw 20 pitches, 13 of them for strikes. Jim Beattie for the Yankees went all the way. He pitched eight innings, gave up ten hits, four runs, all earned, walked three, struck out three, gave up the inside the park home run to Joe Foy, which was unbelievable. He threw 133 pitches, 85 of them for strikes. He's 0-1 in the series. Let's quickly go to the Yankees. The Yankees had 32 at-bats, only scored one run, seven hits, one, and the, the run was an RBI, walked once, struck out four times, and left nine runners on base. Um, their hitting star, Greg Nettles, he was two for four, no RBIs, no runs scored. Willie Randolph had a hit, Munson had a hit, Pinella had a hit, Rivers had a hit, and Shambliss. Let's go to the Red Sox. Reggie Smith was one for five, struck out once, left one base runner. Mike Andrews, 1 for 4, struck out once, left no one on. Yastrzemski was 0 for 3, walked once, left a man on base. George Scott was 2 for 2, walked once, no RBIs, didn't score, didn't leave anyone on base. His average, Scott's average is now up to 400. Yastrzemski's average is now up to 417. Smith, 286. Andrews, 273. Petroselli, the shortstop, 2 for 4. Left 3 men on base. No runs scored, no RBIs. His average is up to 500. Tony Clignero, who had an outstanding day in the field, gunned 2 men out at the plate. Unbelievable. Uh, 1 for 4. He left 5 men on base. His average has dropped to .083, but... Did he save the game with some clutch defensive throws and catches? Hawk Harrelson uh, went two for four, scored two runs. His average is now 250. Joe Foy, one for three with the inside park home run. Two RBIs, scored a run. His average goes to 111. He played solid defense at third. Mike Ryan, our catcher, 0 for two. He walked once, struck out once. Another big play, Tony Horton came off the bench. Pinch hit single, scored two runs. Knocked in two runs, I'm sorry. So he's now, uh, his average is now 400 and he has two RBIs. So that was a clutch hit for Tony Horton. The, Red, the 1967 Red Sox take a 2-1 lead over the 1978 Yankees as they win game three, 4-2-1. Let's leave the game for a moment. And let's hit finish. And the pitchers for next game. Pitching for the Yankees, Catfish Hunter. That's why it was very important to win this game. It was extremely important to win this game, number three. Because Catfish Hunter is going for the Yankees in game four against Gary Ding Dong Bell for the Red Sox. I think the Yankees have the edge there. Catfish Hunter in 1978. 21 games. He was 12 and 6. Threw 118 innings. 35 walks. 56 strikes. His ERA was 3.58. So it wasn't. He was coming towards the end of his career. And I think he might have been injured in 78 also. Um, 
So, Gary Bell in 1967 for the Red Sox he pitched in 29 games. He went 12 wins, 8 losses. He had 3 saves. Um, again, they didn't keep track of saves, but they went back and they looked. So he had 3 saves. If they did keep track, he would have had 3. He threw 165 in a third innings, walked 47, struck out 115. Sorry about that. ERA of 316. You know what? We might have the edge here in pitching. I was just going off the names. So, anyway, make sure you come back for game number four. After three complete games of this series between the 1978 Yankees and the 1967 Red Sox, the Red Sox have a 2-1 lead. Here's a little cool thing right here. Let's see if I can get to this. If it will pop up for you guys. If I go back here. No, it's not there. Schedule. Nope. Let's go back to game. Maybe it's game. Upcoming schedule. That's what it is. Scores. How do I get back to the summary of all the games? Bear with me a moment. It's really cool. I stumbled across it. The sounds of silence. I thought it was under game. Oh, I remember now. You go under the league playoff coverage. Sorry about that. So this is a really cool screen. Let's see if it will pop up for you guys. If not, I will force it to pop up. Oh, it does come up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so this is the um, playoff coverage, and you can see, just a recap real quick. In game one, Ron Guidry defeated uh, Jim Lomborg. Goose Gossage got the save. It was a great game. Pitcher's duel. Yankees won in the Bronx, 2-1. to one. In game two... Jose Santiago defeated Ed Figueroa. Uh, the Red Sox won 7-5. John Wyatt got save number one. George Scott hit a homer. And in game three that we just completed, the Red Sox won 4-1. Lee Stangy got the win. Jim Beatty got the loss. John Wyatt got his second save. Home run, inside the park home run, Joe Foy. But this is kind of cool. This is a new thing for OBS. You see this highlight? If you click on this, it takes you to the highlights. So I'm going to click on it. I'll show you guys. The highlights of game one. Let's see if that pops up for you guys. I think this is really neat. So I'm hoping this pops up. Um, I'm going to do game capture. There we go. So I just had to switch that on OBS for a moment. It should pop up. This is really cool. So you click on highlights, and it gives you the highlights of the game. There we go. So I'll just show you. If I hit continue up here, and it's just giving you the highlights. I mean, I can, there's no commentary because I do my own commentary. But that's really neat. So it gives you the plays. So that's how the Red, the Red Sox had scored their first run. You hit continue again. They're just showing how the Yankees are going to score now. And I'll just hit continue one more time. Ground ball. Four to three tying run scores. But anyway, that's really neat. That's a new feature with out of the ballpark. The highlight reel. I like it. And when you, you just go down here to leave the highlights, and we go back. So anyway, this is Al Red Sox fan saying thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this. If you like the video, hit the like button, share, hit the subscribe button. But most of all, come back and watch Game 4. The 1967 Boston Red Sox lead the 1978 New York Yankees. Two games to one. Game 1 went to the Yankees in the Bronx. Two to one in a pitcher's duel. Game two in a slugfest went to the Boston Red Sox 7-5 in the Bronx.
Game 3 was in Fenway. Another exciting game. Inside the Polk Park home run by Joel Foy and a pinch hit single to knock in two runs by Tony Horton. The Red Sox went two to uh, four to one. I'm sorry, and go up two to one in the series. Our next game four pitching for the Yankees is Catfish Hunter, and for the Red Sox Gary Bell. And let me just go back to OBS, and I have to drag this down. To bring that back up. See, that's cumbersome, but oh well. Alrighty, so this is Al Red Sox fan saying thank you very much. Health and happiness. Hope to see you again. Take care. God bless. Thank you very much, Christopher Anderson. See you tomorrow at work. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Or good morning.